Alright, hi, I'm Travis Homby with Siddons Martin Emergency Group, and I've got Weatherford, Texas here with me today. I've got Lieutenant Burt McFadden and Engineer uh, Ryan Whiteman with me. We're going to talk about the Dash CF pumper that they've purchased and we're doing final inspection on. It's a uh, 450 horse engine, uh, Cummins, 1500 GPM puck pump, and 750 gallons of water. I'm going to let them talk about a few of the features that they like that drove them into the Dash and, and the uh, puck pump. I guess to start out with, uh, this is our second uh, puck, and we like the extra storage, the room on it. Uh, in the past, we've bought trucks and put our equipment on it. It's, eventually, we've grown in wanting more, add more equipment, and it hadn't worked out. So this gives us room for expansion in order to add more tools and equipment. Uh, we have the puck we bought before this was more of a rescue type engine, and we were able to carry more extrication equipment since it runs on the interstate a lot. And we just want to kind of have a fleet of all the same type of engines, uh, just so we have room to grow and add more equipment into them. But like the cab a lot, uh, especially me being a lieutenant and an engineer, in the past we've never had a lot of room up in the front, and this, this is the only cab we've seen that we liked, and it's given us that room. Let's show you a couple of features of the body that we like. Uh, we chose this, this particular one because it, it Leaves our pump panel protected from the weather and easier to keep it clean and, and maintained, especially with all the electronics that are on these now. Uh, we got lots of storage in these, lots of slide out trays for all of our uh, different components, engineers' tools. Uh, I'm going to step right over here. This is for our cross lays. Got these little poly trays where our cross lays will slide into where you can release them and pull out your tray. Pull your old cross so that makes it easier to, to load the, the hose back up and place it back on the truck. Another feature we opted for is these, these tool slide outs here, swing arms, where you can mount tools on the inside and outside. This leaves for a lot more room to, to have more tools in the compartment versus just one mounting wall. And of course, just another very deep compartment, adjustable shelves, uh, to place just numerous tools. This truck uh, is not really specified for any type of uh, service other than just an engine, uh, but we we wanted to have a lot of extra room for tools that will be added on in the future. Just a few features on the rear of the engine here. We've got a well. First off, we've got a nice big heavy-duty bumper there that will also serve as a step grease some of the higher stuff and this will also fold out here as an additional step to reach your hose bed and any of these higher compartments. Uh, another feature we like is having this hose reel in the back for small fires on the, the interstate and things like that is why we chose it. Uh, this little additional step we had added on here folds out allows for easy access for our top hose load here. Makes it a lot easier to grab. Pull out to load and unload, and it falls back up out of the way. And one more feature is our, the EMS cabinet we have on the side of the truck here. It's got interior and exterior access. You can open it up here to get to your medical bags from the outside, and it's also got access from the inside on the firefighter seat. there with the netting over it. All right, that about sums it up for us from uh, Pierce. We've got uh, Weatherford, Texas. Thanks for watching.